Welcome back everyone, I'm Genevieve Moongarden and the Balanced Decathlon event just started today. It runs from the 11th of October until the 17th of October 2022. But before we jump into it, I want to give a subscriber salute to new subscribers Peyton Burke, Mustafa Musa, Michael Carmona, Quandale Dingle, Amadite, Tallboy, Eli P, and Luna Angel Boo. To access this event, click on the special event tab at the top right. And then there's the Balanced Decathlon event. The event that just ended, you have until Friday of the same week to redeem anything that you've earned. And any points that you earn from these weekly events goes towards your scroll of fortune. This one currently has 51 days left. It will take you right to the library. Why in the world does it take me to the library, you ask? Well, previously it actually used to be in the library if you're new to the Decathlon and didn't already know that. Number two, it is a treasure card only event. So you can visit Harold Argleston to purchase treasure cards that you need for battling from Argleston's fine cards or the wonderful arrow here that takes you to the treasure cards that are available in the bazaar. Personally, I'm more of a fan of the balanced decathlon because it has three schools that can damage it more as opposed to just the usual one. Those being the spirit schools, nice. Once you've already loaded up your stuff, you can head back to this little sparkle bumpkin and teleport to Arena. Now, once you're in the Decathlon area, make sure you approach the sigil and claim your day's credits. There would be a button right here that says claim today's three credits, but I already did that, but I was having issues with the video quality, so oops, I trashed that one and there's my credits for the day. My recommendation is if you're like me and don't have time to do a lot of Decathlon per day, still go get those credits because on a day that you have a lot more time, you will have extra credits because they do accrue. However, at the end of the event, they all go away. So if just say, for the past two decathlons you collected all the credits but you didn't do anything you are not going to have a ton of decathlon credits available for the next one and sorry everyone apologize for my voice it's these darn allergies but they won't stop me now you're going to find Kara Rune right here in the decathlon area the only thing is she only sells a few recipes here those would be for the spears and the hands of fate for your treasure card display recipe and for transmuting your various runes. When you encounter her on the inside, she sells you fantastic recipes for decks, also that treasure card holder, and for some treasure cards that you can craft at any time whatsoever in your decathlon crafting station. Any recipe that you have purchased whatsoever for this event, you can come over here to the decathlon crafting station and craft them. So here's all the different decks that I have purchased, all the different spears and hands of fate and all the different decks. Gold skeleton keys can now be crafted here. If you're like me and don't do a lot of decathlon, but you do a lot of beast moon and you keep ending up with these runes, then go ahead and use them to craft the gold keys. Why not? And here's all the treasure card recipes that you have purchased on the inside of the decathlon. I personally like to be able to get the variants like ash bats, fire serpent, ice cat, ice elf, lightning elf, myth leprechaun, etc. But you can also get things like blades and healing like sprites. And you can combat those pesky overtimes with triage. Once you purchase these, as I said, they are available anytime you want because the decathlon crafting station never ever goes away. Personally, I love to either craft the beastman seeds or treasure cards at the decathlon crafting station when we have an event that needs us to craft five things per day. Yes. And then over here is a simple decathlon tome with a tutorial. It's not narrated. Do it. And I'll let you know different things about the decathlon. Now, we're not ready to go in yet because I don't even have that one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go home and see if we have that deck. I'm pretty sure I have some sort of a balanced decathlon deck. Oh, dearie do. Look, I've only got balanced decathlon deck number one. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll have to work on that, won't we? So put that in my backpack. Why in the world do you care about the deck? Well... As I said, it's only available to have treasure cards in it for the decathlon. So it doesn't matter what's in your deck here. I can use this deck if I wanted to, but I only have access to what is in the treasure card section. Sometimes I recommend if you're new to decathlon and don't have a higher level deck, just go ahead and use. You don't get any resist to that particular school or any boost against it, but you can hold more cards. Now, the balanced decathlete deck number one gives you an additional 50 health, an additional five balance damage, an additional five balance resists, an additional five death damage, life damage, and myth damage. However, it can only hold 16 cards. Now, I am ever running out of space for my treasure cards. I wish they'd bump it up, seriously. So, I actually like to use the decathlon to use up some of my treasure cards. Okay, let's get a little bit of variety here. 
And a luminous weaver. Ooh, the goat monk that heals. Nice. That's a special one that you can craft. Okay, make sure we have it equipped. Let's go. And one last thing before we go in, let's check out these rewards. How you get points for this event is only two ways. Defeating monsters in the Decathlon Tower, you get one point per rank, unlimited amount, yay. The higher up you go in the Decathlon Tower, the higher rank the creatures are and the more points you get for them. And using a treasure card in combat, you can get credit for up to 20 of those per day at one point each. And the rewards, 10 points gives you balanced Decathletes deck number one with some treasure cards to go with that. 25 points gives you Hands of Fate. 75 points gives you Balance Rune. 125 points gives you Decathlon Balance Tower Pack. Get some cards. 175 points gives you Time Lime. 225 points gives you Decathlon Balance Rune Pack. You do need runes for crafting bigger and better stuff, meaning those decks. 300 points gives you Rock Hammer's Jewel Pack. Once you have a deck of a certain level, you can start putting jewels on it. Now, your own gear and your pet stats do nothing for you in the decathlon, unless your pet has a will cast, meaning an attack or something they can do during battle or a may cast. Those are the only thing from your pet that can help you. Speaking of that, I can hear that choo-choo, which means I have the wrong pet equipped. 375 gives you ultimate rune and 450 gives you balance hamster it gives one spirit shield card at baby you can possibly get balance assistant balance dealer balance giver nice and on the bottom they have displaying leaderboard oh yeah we got lots of people in already the final rewards which is the trophies now if i'm not mistaken i don't think i've ever seen any of these on display in someone's house i mean a lot of pvp ones but i haven't seen these yet and then a help button and a teleport to event button. Sorry, my cute little um, energy pet. <laughs> yeah, and that isn't gonna help either because my health and my mana are preset when you go in. So let's get Magnificent Rex, my favorite decathlon pet. This one has make cast unicorn, make cast steel or make cast shed or make cast balance blade. <laughs> now, as I said, these other ones like storm blade and the dragon lance that I get from the pet, those are not accessible. Even though it shows you it right here, which it really shouldn't, it should just, you know, be gone just like your regular cards. Cause that's a little bit confusing if you're new to Decathlon. Just saying. All right, let's get in there. Go, everybody starts at stage one and they go all the way up to stage 10 where you fight the professor. Desert crawler, let's go. Now make sure you have everything properly equipped and sorted and loaded because you can't change anything once you're in here. All right, you got 185 damage. Um, yeah, they're all pretty much the same. So let's use that black cat. I tend to get a lot of black cats and ghost touches during the Halloween event, just saying. <laughs> Beautiful. Also, there is no healing during this event. Well, you can't heal using your potions because they're gone. Good boy, spider friend. I'm not sure about the higher levels because the highest in the decathlon I've ever been is the stage six. But as far as I knew, you always get to go first. However, um, it is possible for you to fizzle and it is possible for the enemy to crit. So be careful of those. Could an equine assassin and a desert crawler. Now each stage consists of three battles. The first battle has one creature, the second battle has two creatures, and the third battle has one creature, which is the boss. Once you defeat the boss, Kara Runewright will appear. Don't pass her up. She's got goodies for you. So make sure you basically just purchase everything she's got because you're not gonna see those things again unless you go back to that stage and pass everything again. Ooh. I love the death troll. It's the most amazing looking spell. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. I love it so much. So much. Die, horsey, die. I don't die me. I and mean, by the way, the higher rank the critters, the stronger they are. You know what, I'm going to give you a weakness so I can use a ghoul and steal some of that health. I need it. I need it.
Ghoul. Now, I often forget this when I have the rank 1 decks, but you can also put those astral spells in. You can give yourself an aura of defense or crit or whatever. <laughs> and as I said, oh no, we can't heal, so be careful. And I got one special event point and one special event point because they were both rank 1. Flips McNulty! Wait, isn't that on one of those tombstones? Okay, so we're in a little bit of trouble here. Let's heal up. I don't want this boss to hurt me too badly. Not immediately, at least. Oh no, okay, 240. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? Um, I think I'm gonna do another ghoul. I need some more health. And that trap is gonna get me. Dear little tiny tails. La. <gasps> Scorpion, no! With the trap, no! Ow. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I'm gonna imp ya. I remember when somebody tried to defeat Malastare in Dragon Spire and tried to do like a one million hit imp. <laughs> Okie doke. The boss is defeated. So now we get some more stuff, some runes. Hey, look, there's Kira Rune right. Let's talk to her and see what she's got. All right, we have the Balanced Decathletes deck number one, which I've already purchased the recipe for it. These recipes are super cheap, so might as well purchase them all. And I mean, it's not like there's a limit of recipes you can own. That would suck. Treasure card display, same thing. I mean, it's 20,000, so technically it's the most expensive thing she's got, but you can also purchase it on the outside. But this is what we all need. Look at this. Balance blade costs one balance rune. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and the recipe's 100 bucks, man. And Tower Shield. I mean, my death wizard obviously did the bounds to Cathlon because this is what he does. He has got like, I don't know, 50, 60 balance blades and that's what he uses. They can be used by anyone and there's zero pips, yeah. So now that we've got everything from her, goodbye Kara. We might see you again if we don't die or run out of treasure cards. Rock eel, that's not an eel. Psh. I know it's a sandworm, but oh my goodness. Did you really? Oh, starting with two pips. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Of course, because I don't have two pips to start with. But this is a rank two creature. So defeating it will give me two special event points. Yeah, you've got a blade. You're totally going to defeat me. I know it. So I get 100 for that. You know, Pet, you can heal me at any time. I'm just saying. Why are you slacking, Pet? Why are you slacking? As far as I know, they don't have any spells other than balance, but I could be totally wrong about that. The lower level ones, though. I'm pretty sure the higher level ones can do whatever they want. Yeah, see, we're definitely not going to last a really long time. Let's see, it's 290, so we'll use one of these higher ones. If I can defeat this thing with full health, that'll be sweet. Because right now it's kind of wasting it. So as long as it doesn't do more than 200 damage, um, yeah, it's going to do more than 200 damage. Ouch, because I'm going to get 200 health back. Well, why you still have oh, too many? And one of them's gone, right? Right, okay. So, can you please put a blade on? Ooh, no, we're getting another scorpion right in the face. Ouch. Well, we're definitely not gonna go into the next round with full health. Ah. We might even perish before getting the four pips for the earthquake. Not earthquake, the humongo frog. Get him, beautiful treant. Triant versus Sandworm. That sounds like a great movie. Oh, 
Alrighty, got some runes and some gold, which is standard. Let's go! By the way, if you try to open up your spell deck, you can look at it. Action is not allowed in this area. I don't know why they let you look at it. And you can look at your stats. These stats, however, are only for inside the decathlon. See, we have the accuracy, resistance, damage, uh, nothing over here in the critical. I don't know why there's shadow pip rating. And that's it. And then we have our health at 550. Mana is infinity, apparently. Dragon, a scale, sentinel, and a rock eel. Yes. Let's see if we can last. You know, pet, you can use that unicorn or basically anything that you've got at any time. See, this is 310 to 370. If I can last, then I, but I need to last three rounds, which I don't think is going to happen. Yeah, they're just setting it up. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's like instant defeat right there. <laughs> yep, we the gonzers, I think. Oh, cruelty. Let me guess, you're gonna scorpion ring right back. Oh, even worse. Dun dun dun. And then if you are defeated, you end up right back here in the library because, well, either you just got defeated or you ran out of treasure cards and got defeated and ended up back in the library. So you can purchase more of those treasure cards that you need for more battling. And finally, as long as you start a second stage, that is available to you. See, I can start at stage two instead of having to start all the way back at one, which is super handy if you get to like stage six, stage seven, you know, the higher ones. But you can also say select and you can select which one and all of the stages in which you have walked into will be here. So clearly I didn't make it too far into stage two and just say I passed stage three, went into stage four and got defeated. Stage four would still be available to me. You don't have to pass it for it to be available to you. You just have to have gone into it. Thanks so much everyone for checking out this quick video on the balanced decathlon, what the rewards are, how to get it, and a quick guide on, well, how to die fairly quickly in the balanced decathlon. And remember, you are here on purpose, for a purpose. We love you. Bye.